Good morning, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm coming to you to show you what I'm gonna do with this. I have two pieces of um, unfinished art, I would say, and one is on the wooden board, that's this one, and the other one it's just a canvas. Uh, I painted in black and now I'm gonna try to figure out uh, how I'm gonna finalize it. Um, basically the bigger one I am planning to add to my uh, to our bedroom I have no clue yet mm, seriously no vision no ideas z like zero almost uh, I would love to maybe keep black and white with red close to this one so maybe I'm gonna I have always problem with uh, with uh, focus on this camera I don't know anyway I probably use this one and I would like to use this one too, but it's not gonna really clash together because that's the pastel probably like, oh, more like uh, this set, you see, that makes more sense. Uh, that makes more sense than with that. With that, pro m more sense make makes that combination. Uh, although it's not perfect, I wouldn't really go with it. Um... So, fingers crossed for me. Oh, that's the kind of paint I, I really like. I have to go to this shop, but it's very far away. So, uh, I am trying to figure this out and wish me luck. I know this mo this video makes no sense, uh, but I want to show you at least materials I want to use. I'm going to do mixed media. Okay, I decided to show you uh, how I'm working from the top. The minus is I am by myself and I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that because I will have no control. So I don't know how it's going to look like. Uh, B, it's a bummer because I, when I work, I always listen to podcasts and I have only one phone that I can make video with. Um, so I will have to listen this ugly machine that it's on the background as you hear which uh, it's not my favorite thing because I am very sensitive on smells and I'm very sensitive on noises. So we will see how I'm gonna survive this. Uh, it's so hard because I decided finally let go of house uh, projects and work a little bit on, in my studio, which makes me uncomfortable because uh, I like to have everything done. I can't um, work in my studio when uh, stuff in the house are not made, which is a bummer having a studio in the house because you're always gonna find something to do. Uh, but we will see. I am trying to stay positive. Uh, you see what I'm doing? I have this, I montage this thing purposely for the video's sake, but oh my gosh, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Um, this is so um, strong that I'm scared that I'm gonna break my phone. So I'm gonna only put it on it. We will see, let's see. Oh, you see, it's not gonna be as great as I thought. And when I put it on a half on my phone, it's not gonna be a good quality, but let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's dark, I know, but it is dark in general in Portland. Let me try to find another option. I'm gonna do just time-lapse. This is how it looks like. As you saw on time lapse, it's not really interesting. Basically, collage work uh, means searching, searching, searching for the right puzzles, for the right colors, for the right textures, for the right shapes. And of course, you cut out the shapes as well. As you see, it's work on many levels. I have to listen to some podcasts or something. It's, it's boring in silence. <laughs> I have to distract myself a little bit in order to let go and that's the most important part so what i'm gonna do now it's of course puzzling it's a challenge because it's a huge surface you don't see it but it's quite big i try to put measurements on it so you see the scale and i never work on scale like that with collage itself but i wanted to try uh, to to do it so as a challenge I like challenges I like projects I like testing and trying new things scales and everything else so uh, because I feel uh, because of that I'm growing you see I'm standing on the table by the way 
<laughs> and this is how it looks like. it is to work with glue like this um not happy at all you don't see anything everything wrinkles and all that stuff but you learn so i need a break i don't want to put bad energy to my work because you want to feel it so i have to come down um take a rest and go back It's evening already. I was very mad uh, that it was a fiasco. I, did, I didn't like it. As you see, it's not evenly glued, put together, but I am continuing this adventure because I believe that um, I have to figure this out. You know what I mean? I always did and I always will. Because if you zoom in, pieces that are thicker, uh, they are not really um, it's hard to glue them and the thin one leave the wrinkles and bubbles you know air bubbles but you know what it should be a play it should be an adventure so even if i don't like it completely i will continue and we will see what's gonna happen who knows maybe i'm gonna add some paint maybe i'm gonna add some elements maybe uh in a couple days i will totally change my mind and good morning it's a very nice day everything dries what annoys me the most is i know it's silly but this part here because it's uneven to the uh you know like it should be straight and it's like drunk a little bit so i don't like that i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to fix probably i have to just let it go um uh, it's a skill as well to let go i think i like this part the most uh because the paint shines through it and you have layers and colors match eventually nothing's gonna happen it's not um surgery on open heart i mean it is a little bit because when i'm working i am putting heart to it uh, so it is a little bit with emotional state, but you know, nobody dies uh, if it's not perfect. I mean, perfect is a horrible word. Uh, if it's not excellent, that's what I want to say, because I, I aim to be excellent. As an example, I don't like this color. The shape is nice, but it doesn't work for me. So I'm going to cover this up uh, and make a composition. Maybe I'm going to leave it like this, or maybe I'm going to put another thing that matches. I'm gonna do it better with both hands, but who knows? Um, so I just wanted to show you an example how I'm doing it. We will see if it's gonna hold. Oh, also this one, I feel like this is too strong in this case. So I'm gonna cover this up with something more softer, you know, and adjust those corners together so it's cohesive. Okay, I just set up the final piece. Everything looks white just because the um, glue is not dry yet. When it dries, I will make sure to wipe all that little white dust. Hopefully I'm gonna be as accurate as possible. When it dries, I'm gonna take it to garage. I'm gonna just uh, use spray. Uh, I will show you which one soon. Uh, that protects everything and seals everything. Semi gloss, I think I have. Okay, I think I have one more somewhere. Hopefully, it's enough. If not, gloss is fine. Although I don't like gloss, and it shines anyway because of different kinds of paper I use. And as we know, some of them are from magazines, and magazines have shiny surface. I didn't want to put anything symbolic. It's, it's totally decorative, neutral. What I care about is cohesiveness, uh, a palette, color palette that matches the, the room and also interactions uh, with certain pieces. Like everything is, you know, for purpose. I try to be very um, 
you know, like a story t telling with shapes. That's what I want to say. Like everything makes sense here. Nothing is random. Uh, I pay a special attention to it. For the first time in this uh, kind of um, huge format and doing it from scratch, I feel it's, it's going to be cool. It's going to look nice with the room I have. I had to shake it for two minutes. It's extremely flammable, so you have to be careful. Uh, the bummer is if I would open up the garage doors, it's going to be easier to let go of smell. That smells awful and very strong. The minus is when I open up the doors, then it's going to be tons of dust on the painting. I know that from my experience. <laughs> So I would rather choose smell. At least I have another door. So I don't want to show you details, but I have another door on the other side. Hopefully that's going to help. And maybe when I spray it in like five minutes and it's going to seal a little bit or maybe 10, 15, you know, when it's uh, like, let's say semi dry, uh, then I'm going to open up a little bit uh, the other doors uh, on the side, uh, garage doors on the side. And then I repeat because that has to be repeated for at least like I would say two or three times. And I really feel that's an important step to do. I know I have a sugar rush. I just ate my dessert and I can't think anymore. <laughs> the painting is finished, but the problem is that UV finishing from crayon stinks so badly. That, uh, I mean, I put this painting outside I ventilated it for a week and I hang it uh, in my bedroom and I couldn't fall asleep yesterday so I had to take it down. Yeah, so I'm adding baking soda. I feel like it's gonna be major issue because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean up nicely because it's on black <clears throat> surface. But I really have no choice because I won't be able to hang it. Uh, where I plan it to. So um, I Google it and also they say charcoal might work, but I am not sure um, how to do it and if I should buy it or what. For now, I have baking soda at home, so I'm trying to put it. Hopefully it's gonna go away. It's just terrible. Like I don't understand why it's so strong and why it stays for so long. Uh, I was even Googling uh, if there is like a odorless a solution, a UV filter and such, but I couldn't find anything specific. So if you have an experience with that, or you know how to solve it, or you had a product that actually works or is odorless, please, please let me know, uh, because I don't wanna do the same, I don't wanna have the same issue in the future. And it really, really stinks. Like when I spray it, uh, I had headache uh, and it was in the garage. You know, the whole house was stink stinky. So I really don't know what the hell is going on <laughs> and why is that? Uh, and I think it's toxic by the way. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna smell it. You don't wanna inhalate it uh, for your own good. Let me know. And if anybody from Crayon Company is watching it, please, please make odorless. It should be illegal. Quick update after cleaning it and it went pretty good uh, it looks very nice on the wall i wish to show you but my bedroom is not ready yet so i don't didn't feel like it however i am showing it in my kitchen mm, uh, it doesn't smell anymore but it took a while you maybe try to use varnish or mud patch as a finishing and hopefully see you soon please let me know if you like that i wanted to sh show you my thinking process as well why i'm gluing this and for what reason uh, maybe it's helpful please let me know if it's helpful and what kind of content you like maybe i'm gonna consider this meantime i am very active on my instagram agatarek underscore official so please please go there and you can leave me also direct message if you need something um, right away because i'm there every day and i'm very active there um, meantime be kind to yourself to others and to our planet see you soon bye